Elian Fanay is a senior fellow at the Foundation for Defense of Democracies. Uh, and welcome to the show. Uh, is Iran involved solely because they're Shia and ISIL is Sunni? Well, you see, this problem in, in the Middle East region is beyond the Shia-Sunni sectarian, sectarian divide. Uh, after the premature uh, U.S. military withdrawal from the Middle East region, from Iraq most uh, specifically, a, a vacuum of power was created, which regional powers like Iran and Saudi Arabia are trying to fill. And that, of course, is creating many, many problems in the Middle East region. Uh, and, well, yes, I do agree to some, 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 some extent with the Israeli prime minister that the enemy of my enemy is not necessarily the friend of the United States. I guess this begs the question, though, are these uh, regional boots on the ground that the U.S. wants. We really want Iran's boots to be on the ground and them taking credit uh, for anything over there. Well, you see, if you take a look at the latest national security strategy of the United States, the U.S. government genuinely desires to help the Iraqi government uh, solve the sectarian divide and problems in Iraq. Uh, the Islamic Republic of Iran, a neighboring country on the other hand, actually very much likes to see perpetuation of the crisis in Iraq because the threat of the Islamic State actually legitimizes Iran's military presence in Iraq. It is a card that Iran can use in nuclear negotiations with the United States, and it also makes the Iraqi Shia leaders totally dependent on support from Tehran. So mm -hmm. from Tehran points of view, the threat of the Islamic State is actually an opportunity. Well, Mr. Afani, are you then saying perhaps, and I'm just saying perhaps now, uh, that the two countries, the U.S. and Iran, are working together in this effort, in this fight against ISIL? And if not, should there be more collaboration between the two countries? Well, I think that there is some degree of coordination between the two states, but I'm not sure it would be, it is in the, in the long-term interest of the United States because the Islamic Republic of Iran has again and again demonstrated that it is ready to engage in tactical cooperation with the U.S., but is certainly not trying to shift its strategy towards the U.S. The United States and Washington are seen as enemies of Tehran, and that, of course, is a problem from an American point of view. So you're saying there's more than just religious aspects to Iran's getting involved in this uh, particular battle here. What else might uh, be their interest uh, in this? Well, the interest of Iran is to perpetuate the crisis. Uh, they are perfectly happy with doing a little bit of theatrical fight against the Islamic State in the short term, but they're certainly not uh, interested in eliminating the threat altogether. They very much like to see perpetuation of the ethnic and sectarian crisis in Iraq, and it is something which is going to have huge consequences for the entire Middle East region. I got to ask though on that and uh, sectarian uh, uh, tensions there. Is, is there any uh, reason in your mind to believe that Iran's involvement could exacerbate uh, sectarian tensions because of their involvement in this? this I certainly think that already is the case. We are seeing Major General Qasem Soleimani of the Quds Force of the Revolutionary Guards uh, at the head of more than 20,000 Shia Iraqi militias, again, each of them created by Iran taking over, trying to encircle the city of Tikrit, the city in which the former Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein was born, a Sunni city. So yes, of course, I genuinely believe that the Sunni population of Iran, uh, of Iraq, because they fear Shia, Shia dominance, uh, will actually be forced to seek support uh, and will turn to Islamic State in order to seek protection. And this certainly is not a scenario that the United States government or the Iraqi government, for that matter, could be particularly happy with. All right. Certainly uh, interesting developments unfolding over there in that part of the world. Ali Afadeh, sir, thank you for your insight. Thank you.